Uh, colleagues, uh, good afternoon also from my side. Uh, it's a great honor to be uh, with you at the opening of this uh, panel here. UNUEHS, the Institute for Environment and Human Security, is, is not a law institute. The way we come uh, to our project uh, is with, with mandates to investigate the linkage which, between the climate stressors uh, on a global side and the way people adapt on the community level and on the household level uh, by their decision to, to, to establish uh, this linkage. With respect to uh, risk management uh, measures, with respect to uh, mitigation and so on. I think uh, we have, uh, during the last years, uh, recently, uh, together with, uh, with uh, CARE in a large series of, uh, of, of case studies and also with CDKN, globally distributed case studies, uh, been able uh, to kind of uh, glue together different narratives into a, into a kind of a common uh, view uh, to look at these processes. We have also uh, been able uh, to supply important information to inform uh, policy processes uh, with UNFCCC, the Cancun Adaptation Framework, uh, the current discourse on, on, on loss and damage. The details uh, of the stories in the different parts of the world, the different circumstances are of course different. Uh, but there are a few uh, important uh, common stories uh, which I think are uh, very, uh, very important to, uh, to, to recognize. First of all, uh, we mostly start uh, from the question, what does climate do? Uh, when you go uh, to local situations, uh, you almost invariably see that bioclimate is an important stressor. Uh, it's many other uh, further push and pull factor that have to be taken into account. So this is a, a very important thing we should also always have in, uh, in mind. Uh, the second uh, thing uh, which we see, and I uh, come to an end already, although we did not do uh, detailed investigations yet, but you see it again and again, uh, that the legal uh, situation, the legal frameworks people are finding themselves in are just uh, explicitly or implicitly taking a large uh, share uh, in uh, the influences and, and, and the way they take the, the decision. And I think it is important to note uh, it is not just the push factors, uh, the uh, aspects of protection that are very important, but also the pull factors, the assets people have and the way uh, the people have access to these different economic assets, which are a very important part and I think uh, deserve uh, to have a close inspection in future. And I'm uh, extremely happy that uh, we are able uh, together uh, with the Mary Robinson Foundation to do uh, hopefully a uh, very important step in this direction. So uh, I wish, wish us all a very fruitful uh, afternoon and uh, hopefully also not just important but also uh, enjoyable discussion this afternoon. Thank you very much for attending this meeting.